we're still drowning here. Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public, and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Nico Evaluates. With 26 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only Challenge, and countless Snapster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited, I'm here to tell you my honest opinions on different Mega Man games, so sit tight and learn. Hello people and welcome back to Nico Evaluates Mega Man 10. Let's go to Blade Man first, cause Commando Man is a bit more... Uh... Well, it's harder to explain, I suppose. Blade Man stage is probably one of the uh, more self-explanatory stages in the game. Introduction to canon, just fine. Axe as well. I like the axe enemies in that, they are simple, easy to understand, basic enemies. And uh, they do fit the stage as well. It's uh, well animated, the handle of it looks kinda neat. This one, uh, you gotta be a bit careful, you can miss a line, I think one of these. Got no problems in this section here. Just good old spiders, which you can actually uh, fuck up like that. So you have to be SMI careful, I do like the design of it. And the spine here, if you hit it, you'll shoot like that. Nothing too uh, dangerous. Not much to talk about in this stage, everything uh, flows pretty well. Another one of those Mega Man 9 like stages. Introduction to this mechanic here is well done. Can't die the first time when you're trying it. If you take too long, however, I'll show you what happens. That happens, and uh, these uh, gaps are almost impossible to jump over. You can, though, if you tippy-toe enough. I think there's one in particular where you just die if you try it. It's a bit wider than the rest, I think. Don't quote me on that. But I like the uh, animation on the uh, lift. When it starts to go back left, it actually animates the arrow as a warning, like that. It's nicely done. Mini boss of the stage. Have to shoot the eyes. Reminds me of. Uh, reminds me of that one boss from Mega Man 5. I can never remember its name. The thing that uh, throws the platforms at you. That makes the gate sound. I never realized. Huh. It's a uh, semi easy to avoid. Just have to be careful. I like the design of it, but maybe the uh, explosions on the b balls uh, is a bit too much. It's kind of hectic that way, because you still take uh, damage if you get hit by the explosion as well. But it's not too bad. I like how it gives up, shows the French flag there as it goes down. That looks like a meat boy down in the background. I'm not sure if that's... Uh, Done in purpose, but that does look like a meat boy. <laughs> Super meat boy to be exact. Bit more tricky here, nothing too bad. They kind of swarm you after you uh, come to the room, but eh, it's not too bad. Several ways of tackling this room as well. I like the uh, different uh, rooms this uh, stage has. It's uh, pretty well made in that regard. It doesn't get boring at any any moment. Another introduction here. Before you uh, enter the spike section, there's a new enemy that the game wants you to get familiar with. No animation though, that's kinda sad. Ball comes out of the mouth, but he's not animated at all. I think they skipped a uh, production day. There's one spot in this stage which uh, makes my blood boil, but I'll showcase it. We need the commando bomb for the walls, so we cannot get that. That's the one where you <laughs> kind of fuck yourself up. You're used to doing the same thing over and over, and then they kind of change it up to see if you notice. Kind of have to be careful with this one. Can't even reach it, which is fine. It's a uh, cool challenge. There we go. I like how when you skill, I like when you kill the spider, 
the uh, web comes down. It's nice uh, attention to detail. So here is the sp spot that uh, kind of sucks. So this guy comes like that. When you go back, it comes again. So uh, that position is very bad. You should not have to kill the same enemy twice. It just doesn't work well. So many people die there because they don't know about that. I know I used to die there all the fucking time. Because you just forget about it. There are a couple of methods to uh, kill Blade Man. There's the fast version and there's the slow version. And I suck at the fast one so I probably can't even do it. This is the uh, main uh, way to tackle Blade Man I suppose. The easiest one. And he just keeps repeating this pattern. I would have hoped he had another attack. It's just, this is it. It's like a Mega Man 1 boss. This is Iceman here, pretty much. He never alters anything if you just keep doing the same thing. Of course, if you slightly start going different directions and such, he'll uh, jump a bit differently, but that's it. That's basically Blade Man. Very boring. Could have had another attack, certainly. Maybe make him slide on the ground with his uh, head blade, because he never uses that. Maybe something like that. That would be a, a fun addition, but that's not what we have. So let's complain. Blade Man is probably the most boring robot master in this whole game. Commando Man is just a, a different kind of boring. It's uh, not that well done. But that's Blade Man. Yawn. Yawn with me, please. This stage has some gimmicks that I'm not completely sure about. It's kind of a train wreck of a stage. Pharaoh Man reference. And uh, let's see how long it takes for you to die. Fairly long. <laughs> I don't think you. I don't think anyone's gonna die like this. That takes like 20 seconds. Could I up to the challenge there? Why not just make you die when you uh, completely vanish? It takes like fucking 20 seconds. Interesting mechanics here. Your cue to be careful around the crabs. Of course, if you are sly like that, you can kill them. Or just kill these things when they uh, appear. Which is nice, you can step on this thing. But you go through this platform here, because it's not really a platform. The angled part of it just uh, doesn't even exist in reality. Should be careful around these mines. You, know, you should not shoot them if possible. Although one of them contains a secret. Whoa, that comes close and uh, apparently the hitbox is kind of crappy. Well, that's interesting. Also two pads. Let's check the upper one first. It's faster. Well, here we have the mechanic of the stage. Flows pretty nicely once you know it. Just the uh, difficulty curve is quite high for first timers. So this is uh, what I wanted to talk about again. Commando Man stage is not bad until... Well, it kind of copies Fero Man as well, but... It's not bad until you uh, get to the Sandstorm section. Oof, it's just a bit overwhelming and uh, again uh, you have to be master before you even try. Let's see how that actually works out. So here you got the sandstorm. You will not know what's coming. If there's gonna be an, an, an up and down on that pit you will not know before you try. And there it is. If you jumped you're dead. If you jumped you're dead again. While, while you're trying to battle these the sandstorm comes back, like that. Now you have to find a space where you're safe. But even then, that guy hits you because uh, it is drifting through the wind. Or sandstorm rather. So you just get punished and punished and punished and no matter what you try to do, you get punished. And there's spikes. If you did one mistake, you're gonna hit those spikes. Relentless design. What the... My sound just went off. 
I ran out of... Uh... There had to be a better way to do the sandstorm. Like, don't cover the whole screen, at least. Like, give some sneak peeks from between the uh, storm. Of course, you're not gonna see anything on a real sandstorm, but this is not real life, this is a fucking video game. Give us some slack, don't cover the whole screen. Cover some areas of the screen, but still make it doable, right? Don't just do this. Holy hell, and that's gonna hit us. No, it's gonna go left, because the wind is going left. At least that there's that. But then there's Mets. Ups and downs. Everything is fucking killing you here. You're only a... Uh, the only way to salvage yourself is to uh, look at the scenery and the items and the enemies and their placement to remember where the pits are when the sandstorm comes. So there's not much in terms of uh, teaching the player, it's just like look at this. How would you know how to do this the first time around? Or the fucking tenth time around? You wouldn't. <laughs> you just have to practice the fuck out of that. That is just the problem of that spot. That's all. You may fuck off now. This room is also nice, works well. One of my favorite weapons in uh, any Mega Man game, if you watch my weapon video, I like it. You can hold it down without losing any uh, weapon energy. And you can go up walls. That's nice. Very handy. Not, like, not that good of a weapon, but holy fuck is this fun. It's just fun to watch it go around. Nothing on the left. I think that's where the pad merges. Here's the secret. Three bolts. I don't know why I'm just using this now, because it's fucking awesome. Even travels on the sand, I guess you could kill these. Nope, the angle is a bit wrong. Shame. Would be nice to kill those crabs with it. Then we have the blades. One of the more uh, powerful weapons in uh, Mega Man ever, but the angle kind of makes up for it, so that it doesn't come, uh, come out as uh, too overpowered. You still have to kind of aim it unless you get close as hell and just mash. That's well balanced. This stage has no big problems. Just uh, you have to just get good. Of course, this is one thing that you have to keep in mind: the ups and downs. Not well introduced in the stage anyway. Uh, they just come up and you'll just die if you don't know about their locations. Same thing that uh, they did on Mega Man Four and. Uh, I just never uh, understood why make an enemy that just kills you. <sighs> That's never fun. This crab almost hits us during the transition, but not quite, so that's good. Not gonna waste any time here once you know how to do this. Well, it's quite fun. Jump here and go under the big eye. The weapons in this game are not as good as in 9. They're just mediocre at best. Some gems here and there, but... But for the most part, not too amazing. This route, I think, is a bit more difficult, if I recall. I haven't taken this one in a very long time. You can uh, get those energies, because uh, you usually hug the opposite wall you drop uh, down from. So uh, you'll most likely get those energies. Shield attacker, well done, doesn't reach the uh, wall on the left. Well thought out. This one, fine as well. Oh, right, yeah. Should have some sandstorms again. This is definitely slower, because the uh, storms are coming at you and not pushing you. You have to constantly stop and uh, think of your placement here. Let's see if you can pull this off. Uh-oh. That's a no. Oh, sh Luckily, the E-Tank is a good indicator where you are standing on. Okay. There we go. Yep, I don't like that pad. <laughs> Not too good. I like the other one better. Whoa! I'm not sure how I dodged that. The other one flows uh, that much better. I think it's a lot faster as well. You don't have to stop nearly as much. Luckily you can shoot those ups and downs, so that's a bonus. Then again, have you ever seen an up and down that you can't shoot? Maybe? But I'm not sure. I can't uh, recall. 
Here's a story about Commando Man. I don't like his fight at all. It's weird how the game kind of pauses after uh, the Robot Master uh, fills his energy up. So, he'll stomp the ground, but at the same time, fire a missile that reaches pretty wide. You just have to be close to him. You have to react in a split second. That's the best way to do this. If you're far away, you'll just most, most likely get hit. But being close enough is good. You'll still get hit on occasions because I uh, don't always have that reflex. And yeah, if you corner yourself like that, you'll just get hit anyway. That's all that it is. This is Commando Man. It's like a uh, Guts Man, but with missiles. I'm not impressed. It's an okay fight. It's not a bad fight, by any means. I just don't think uh, this is uh, that well done. Oh, you even ding your shots on the uh, missile? I did not know that. Well, something new you learn every day. Yeah, there you go. That's uh, strange. He also cancels his hurt animation for some reason. Sometimes. I don't know about this. Sometimes you get cornered without your uh, own consent. Because he can just uh, keep doing uh, the stuff you don't want him to do. Yep, you just have to have golden reactions for this. He could alter his stuff somehow. There's like, he, he just does this all the time. It's like Blade Man. He never alters his uh, patterns. Ugh, I'm not so sure about that. Trust his side arm. Probably kill all the uh, robot masters with the uh, buster. Well, if you agreed on what I said, leave a like. If you disagreed, leave a dislike. Catch you next time.